The iCam 7S series devices have a selection for different operational modes. We refer to them as Option 1 and Option 3. Option 1 is typically selected when using the iCam for user enrollment with the Iris Enroll application. Option 3 places the iCam in a constant identification or verification mode with the matching on the device. When the iCam is in Option 3 mode, we refer to that as being a remote unit. This video will walk you through the process of changing the iCam to Option 3 mode, then configuring the iCam and the EAC software to communicate and synchronize properly. This process will need to be completed for each iCam that you want to add as a remote unit to the EAC system. In order to set up the iCam, we need to go into Iris Manager. First, we need to make sure that Iris, Ma Iris Server is running. We'll click on that and see that the icon is running. Go into Iris Manager, the user ID of Administrator, Iris 3000. And we go up to Creation and then Remote Unit. We want to click on New. And now we'll make a name for the, for the Iris camera. We'll call it Main Entry for the door which it will protect. Now when we're using an iCam 7000 or 7S series, uh, which is in option three mode, we're going to actually enter in the, the IP address of the camera itself. And then we'll make up a security ID, which is 16 characters. Uh, you can put a description if you like. And we're going to just skip down to the model type. We're using an iCam 7100 S series in option three mode, so we'll select that. And then our use type will just have a, as identification. We'll click OK. And click close. Now we need to do is go into the iris camera. and change this into option three mode. And right now you'll notice it's in option one mode. So we need to log in. ICAM 7000, IRIS 7000. Now I'll put these side by side so we just make sure that we, we put in the correct information. What we want to do is we want to select as option three or operational mode selection. And we want to select as option three. Now here we need to put in the IP address of our IRIS server. This is your actual computer's IP address, which we have set, which in our case is one 10.10.10.1 and then we put in the security ID which matches exactly to what we entered in under creation and we click OK. Now the iris camera will reboot and come back in option 3 mode. We'll minimize that for now, close this now we can view the connection status by going into Iris Monitor. We also can view the connection status with the Iris server running. So we'll type in that. If you can see, if your Iris camera has an LCD screen on the front and you can view that, the camera should be operational and connecting when the uh, clock comes up on the LCD screen. Okay, so mine is not connecting right now. So most likely it's, it's most likely due to the firewall setting. So we'll go into firewall and windows. And it's saying that my network right now is, is listed as a public network. So what I want to do is I want to just click just to make sure, we'll turn the firewall off, click yes, and see if that resolves the problem. 
with the connection. Okay, as you can see now, is we're getting a synchronization, it's checking the database on the camera, and then synchronizing that with the main database. So at some point, we need to go back into the firewall and put in the proper port settings so that we don't have a problem with connection to the iCAM. This completes setting up the iCAM as a remote unit.